I am going to provide you a free web development training. So in this training, you will be learning about the web technologies like uh, HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, JavaScript, jQuery, uh, React.js, Node.js and other server side languages as well. So uh, I'm going to start with the uh, HTML and in this course uh, you will be learning the basic fundamentals of web technologies as well and I have targeted to complete it into 10 videos. All right. So in this in these 10 videos I will train you professionally. So I will be uh, sharing you all those uh, useful uh, tips and uh, points which are really important uh, for you to uplift yourself towards the web development. So let me give you a brief introduction. So HTML is actually the fundamental technology that is used to define the structure of a web page. All right. So this specifies whether your web content should be recognized as a paragraph, list, heading, link, image, form, etc. So let me uh, give you an example of this. For example, this is a simple web page. So in this web page, we have a uh, few lines of uh, few lines of text. So if you will click, uh, right click and inspect this paragraph, you will find out that here is p tag. So this is the HTML tag, which is just helping us to display the content in the form of paragraph. So in the same way, we have another paragraph inside of it. We have a link click here. So we have represented that link with anchor tag. So from here, uh, you can also see this is the image. All right. So if I will right click over that and inspect, then you will find out that this is the anchor tag and inside of anchor tag, we have IMG tag. So this is the image. So in order to display the image on your uh, web page, you have to use the IMG tag. So this is the tag of HTML. So basically HTML is just helping us to display the content and just categorize uh, the content so that we could uh, display uh, on our web pages. All right. So in this uh, introductory video, I will be uh, doing the basic setup. Uh, of the Visual Studio Code Editor. I will recommend you to use uh, Notepad++ because that is uh, use, uh, very uh, useful for beginners uh, in order to remember all those tags. But I am using the Visual Studio Code because uh, I have to speed up uh, the uh, lectures uh, because you know that uh, this would be time consuming if I will be using other uh, editors. So Visual Studio is just helping me to uh, speed up uh, the coding. So other than that, uh, you first, firstly, if you are interested to uh, download this Visual Studio Code, then you have to go to code.visualstudio.com and from there you can download uh, for a specific platform. For example, I am using Windows, so I will be clicking on uh, over here and if you are using Mac or Linux, then you can download from here. So once you will be downloading, then uh, you should install that one and everything would be set up. So in this introductory video for your inspiration, uh, I'm just going to develop a web page uh, with a basic CSS. So in order to impress you actually, because uh, there are a lot of people who has the fear that uh, we are not interesting in coding, but make sure that coding is really interesting if you will be uh, keeping it interesting, right? So this matters uh, a lot. So let me uh, let me create a simple file. So here is the file of webpage.html. So I'm going to open it up in my editor Visual Studio Code. So here is my code. I have used the shortcut to uh, structure this HTML page. So everything has been uh, over here by uh, writing sign of exclamation, right? So these are the few tags. You need not worry about uh, these tags for now because this is the introductory video and I'm just uh, writing here the title and then after I'm writing here the H1 tag, my website. And then I am interested to show a navbar. So inside of navbar, I wanted to show some links, just like you have seen home page. About 
contact blogs right so these are the few tags i have written here then after we will be uh, we will be having some section and inside of this section i am going to write here a paragraph so this is content area then after we will be having a footer inside of the footer i am writing here developed by muhammad so let's save this and let me run this code so you have to right click over over it and open with google chrome so you will be seeing that uh, the, this is the html uh, that i have written and this is uh, shown in this way right so i wanted to uh, style this so for for a moment i am using bootstrap right So I have a link tag inside of it. I am pasting this one and if you will see the output now then there would be a little difference right but I am not satisfied with this different difference. So let me style this. I am going to use some classes like bg danger text center text color should be white and there should be a padding of 3 I think so if you will see the output screen you will get something like this this is interesting right then after we will be having a navbar and we also needed to needed a background color primary and we also want it text center and padding of 2 pixel and margin 0 so this is something like this so we also wanted to give the margin to here as well so now this is something like this but you know we are not able to see the content this is about and this is home so we need to give some css to this as well class equal to text white and there should be some padding of for example 3 pixel and I wanted to copy this and paste into all the anchor tags let's see the output so here is the output this is interesting right so let me design the content area so this is the section so in the same way we have to text center and padding should be i think five and we have needed some style as well like height so height i wanted to 470 pixel and background color i also want warning so let's see the output wow this is interesting right so let's design the footer as well so here i am going to add the class bg danger text center and uh, text color should be white and padding should be some around two 
so yes so we have no need to write here danger we want here dark so here I completed the uh, web page so I think that this was really easy and you know that uh, how quickly I uh, completed this web page so I will be uh, sharing the code of this specific web page to my github account so you can access that account from here uh, this is github.com m-o-h-d-r-a-m-z-a-a-n-1-1-2 so once you will open this up you will get this specific uh, um, dashboard and from here you have to click on repositories here we have the courses so inside of the courses every lecture which I will be completing in the video I will be sharing the content over here so we are actually focusing on HTML right now so inside of it we had the first lectures you have to go to the first lecture and inside of it I will be uh, uh, pushing the uh, file that I have just written right so let me create a new file over here web page so inside of it I am going to copy from here and just going to paste it so this is the code that I am going to commit from here. Yeah. So we got this uh, specific web page. All right. So I will be also providing you the link of this uh, web page. So you should click over it and you can copy this specific code and you can also uh, download it as well. So once you will copy this and you can create uh, a new file into your system and just uh, put this code and uh, you will definitely get, get the page something like this. All right. So in the next video, we will be going through the uh, basics of HTML and gradually we will moving to the advanced level and make sure that you will, you must be consistent in all those videos so that uh, uh, you could uh, get into the whole bunch of knowledge which I wanted to share with you. So in the next video, I will be starting with the basics of HTML. So make sure that everything um, should be set up into your system like uh, a specific editor and uh, you must be uh, capable of uh, running the specific uh, uh, file. So I already told you that uh, if you are creating that uh, uh, file and your uh, file extension should be .html and then after you can right click over that and uh, run that specific uh, file onto your web browser. And then after uh, you can go through all the things everything step by step I will be uh, telling you and you make sure that uh, if you have any questions uh, you can put those questions into the whatsapp group that I have created so from there there are some technical experts who will be helping you out with whenever you stuck with the problem 